Right back to Nurse and a one on nothing with a goaltender. Goes oh. in a goal! Sarah Nurse, unbelievable. That goal earned Sarah Nurse the four spot on SportsCenter's top 10 Sunday night. While well, it also helped the Badgers earn their second trophy of the year as Wisconsin won its third straight WCHA tournament title. <laughs> hey everyone and welcome to the Press Pass. After winning the WCHA regular season and tournament titles, the Badgers earn the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament and will host Robert Morris Saturday at 2. Now the number one is something the Badgers have been used to this season. They were number one in the preseason and number one in the polls all year. So being the top seed in the tourney, the Badgers just have to keep the same approach. Staying focused on, on what they need to do daily and as they prepare for the next game and, and try not to get ahead of yourself or you know, read articles or, or look on the internet and read about maybe how good you are or where you're ranked. Uh, you know, if you can keep those distractions away and, and really focus in and hone in on what's important uh, for that particular day, I think uh, you know, that's the message we as the coaching staff relays to the players. Uh, the players understand uh, you know, what we're trying to do and they've been able to focus in on, uh, on the process and really focus in on what's most important next. Next is the NCAA quarterfinals at Le bon Arena. Tickets sold out in less than two and a half hours. The puck drops at two on Saturday as the Badgers look for a spot in the Frozen Four. Now there's a lot going on for the men's hockey team this weekend. Thursday night there will be a celebration of life of Jeff Sauer at the Kohl Center at 6 p.m. It's also senior weekend for Wisconsin and UW will honor the 1977 championship team Saturday. So there will be a lot of emotions, but on the ice, the Badgers just have to focus on beating Ohio State with plenty on the line. This weekend for us has set up as, as well as we could have hoped from the start of the season on where we're at. We're, we're in control of, of where we can be uh, moving forward. I mean, this group of players have worked to position themselves to potentially win a Big Ten, to potentially get a bye in the first round of the Big Ten playoff, to potentially get a NCAA bid. And it's the last time we're going to be playing in this building this year. So I would really hope that we get a, a energized building here uh, that will help us and, and get us to that next step of where we want to be. With at least two points this weekend, Wisconsin will finish second in the conference and earn a bye in the first round of the conference tournament. With a couple wins and a little help, Wisconsin can win the Big Ten. And the Badgers are also still ranked 13th in the pairwise rankings, so there is plenty to pay attention to this weekend, and student tickets are just $5. That's the Press Pass for Wisconsin Athletics. I'm Brandon Spiegel.